the future of air combat. It's stealthy. It's smart. It's everywhere. The F-35 Lightning II isn't just a fighter jet. It's a revolution in air power. Where the F-22 Raptor was built to dominate the skies, the F-35 was designed to dominate the battlefield, in the air, on the ground, and even in cyberspace. It's the most expensive weapons program in human history, one of the most advanced stealth fighters ever built, and a jet that has transformed how America and its allies fight wars. Today, we're diving deep into the most insane facts about the F-35 Lightning II, the jet that's rewriting the rules of combat for the next 50 years. It's not one jet, it's three in one. The F-35 isn't just one aircraft, it's an entire family of jets built on a single design philosophy. The F-35A is the most common version. Designed for the U.S. Air Force, it operates like a traditional fighter. Takeoff, landing, and missions from standard runways. It's also the only variant equipped with an internal cannon, making it ideal for classic fighter roles. The F-35B is where things get wild. Built for the U.S. Marine Corps, it can take off from short runways, hover mid-air, and land vertically like a helicopter. This makes it perfect for amphibious assault ships or rugged forward bases where there's no long airstrip. The engineering magic behind this ability is its shaft-driven lift fan, which channels power from the main engine into a massive fan behind the cockpit, generating enough lift to float a 70,000-pound fighter in the air. The F-35C is the Navy's carrier-based version. It has the biggest wings of the family, along with folding tips for storage on crowded carrier decks. Its landing gear is reinforced to withstand brutal carrier takeoffs and landings, where jets slam onto the deck at full speed, caught by an arresting hook. The F-35C essentially brings stealth and fifth-generation capability to the heart of the U.S. Navy's carrier strike groups. Instead of building three entirely separate jets, the F-35 program created one base design with modular versions. This was revolutionary, a joint strike fighter that could serve the Air Force, Marines, and Navy with shared parts, training, and logistics. And it doesn't stop there. The same concept was extended to dozens of allied nations, making the F-35 not just an American weapon, but a global standard for next-gen air power. To put it in perspective, it's like designing a single car that can serve as a Formula One race car, an off-road truck, and even a submarine, all in one platform. That's the kind of versatility the F-35 family brings to modern warfare. It can land like a helicopter. The F-35B is the showstopper. Thanks to a unique lift fan system, it can literally hover in the air, then land vertically. Pilots describe it as parking a sports car in midair. Why is this important? because it can take off and land from places no other jet can. Short runways, amphibious assault ships, even damaged airstrips. In other words, it doesn't need a perfect airbase. The F-35B can bring fifth-generation stealth and firepower to the front lines, wherever they are. It's practically a flying supercomputer. Inside, the F-35 isn't just an airplane, it's a computer with wings. Under the skin, you're looking at millions of lines of software, orchestrating everything from flight controls to weapons to maintenance diagnostics. But the magic isn't raw code. It's what that code does for the pilot. At the heart of the jet is sensor fusion. Think of it as a brain that never sleeps. The F-35's APG-81 ISA radar sweeps the sky. The Electro-Optical Targeting System, EOTS, stares forward for heat signatures, the Distributed Aperture System, DS, watches in 360 degrees, detecting missiles, aircraft, and even ground launches, and its electronic warfare suite listens for enemy emitters. Instead of dumping four separate screens of chaos on the pilot, the jet merges all of that into one truth source. So instead of juggling gauges and guesswork, the pilot gets a single, augmented reality picture. Enemy aircraft appear as clean track symbols with confidence levels and threat rings. Ground systems light up with their type, range, and emission details. Friendly forces show in different symbology with intent cues and weapon status. Likely ambush zones, radar lobes, and safe approach corridors are computed and drawn in real time. It feels less like a panel of instruments and more like a tactical command interface. Look through the 400K helmet display, and that fused picture is painted right onto the world outside, no head down time to parse data. With the DAS cameras feeding the visor, 
the pilot can literally look through the airframe to see targets below or behind. It's Iron Man, but operational. This fusion doesn't just inform, it decides. The jet auto-correlates duplicate tracks, ranks threats, suggests weapons, and pre-computes firing solutions. It can recommend, shoot this one first, or quietly hand off a target to a wingman over the MADL data link, so another F-35 can take the shot from the blind side. One jet sees, the formation knows. The result? A pilot who used to spend 80% of their brain power finding the fight can now spend 80% winning it. The ODA loop, observe, orient, decide, act, shrinks to seconds. Observe, multispectral sensors hoover up the battle space. Orient, fusion cleans, ranks, and geolocates. Decide, the system proposes the highest probability move. Act, the pilot green lights and weapons fly. Imagine a video game where the minimap shows every unit, friend, foe, missile, radar, even the likely next move, and updates frame by frame. That's the F-35's cockpit. Except it isn't a game. It's a real-time, lethal network that turns information into advantage before the enemy even knows they've been seen. In short, the F-35 doesn't just fly faster or turn tighter. It thinks faster and makes its pilot the most informed, least surprised person in the sky. Its helmet costs more than a Ferrari. Pilots don't just wear a helmet. They wear an augmented reality headset worth $400,000. The F-35 helmet projects targeting, radar, and navigation data directly onto the visor. Even crazier, it links to six cameras mounted around the jet. That means the pilot can look through the aircraft, look down, and instead of the cockpit floor, you see the ground below. Look back and you see enemy fighters chasing you. It's like strapping on Iron Man's helmet, except it's real. It's built for stealth from every angle. The F-35 is designed to be invisible. Every line of its body, every surface angle, even the coating on its skin is built to scatter or absorb radar waves. Unlike earlier stealth jets, the F-35 is stealthy from all angles, including from above, where satellites and advanced radars might try to track it. And because it can carry weapons inside internal bays, it doesn't ruin its stealth profile with external missiles. When it wants to stay invisible, it does. It can kill before the enemy even knows it's there. The F-35's radar and sensor suite can spot targets hundreds of miles away. It doesn't just track, it shares that data with allies instantly. In combat, that means the F-35 can launch missiles at enemies before those enemies even know the F-35 exists. In exercises, it has repeatedly killed opponents who never saw it coming. Imagine playing chess against someone who already knows your next five moves. That's what it feels like to go up against an F-35. It's the most expensive weapons program in history. The numbers are jaw-dropping. The F-35 program is projected to cost over $1.7 trillion across its lifetime. That's not just the most expensive fighter jet program ever, it's the most expensive military project in human history. For context, that's more than the GDP of most countries. Critics say it's too much. Defenders argue that you can't put a price tag on dominating the skies for half a century. It can dogfight, spy, and Janemi radar all at once. Most jets are specialists, some excel at dogfighting, others at bombing, others at reconnaissance. The F-35 does it all. It can engage enemy fighters, drop precision bombs, conduct surveillance, and jam enemy radar simultaneously. That's why it's called a multi-role fighter. It's not just a sword or a shield, it's the entire arsenal in one. It talks to other jets like a wireless network. The F-35 doesn't just fight, it connects. Its communication system lets it share data with other F-35s instantly. A squadron of F-35s doesn't just fly together, they fight as a single digital organism. If one F-35 sees the enemy, they all see the enemy. If one finds a weakness, they all know. This makes the jet more powerful as part of a team than it is alone, and that's saying something. Its engine is the most powerful ever put in a fighter jet. At the heart of the F-35 is the Pratt & Whitney F-1135 engine. It produces about 43,000 pounds of thrust, the most ever in a fighter jet. That's enough power to push the F-35 past Mach 1.6. Sure, it's not the fastest fighter in the world, but with stealth, agility, and firepower, it doesn't need to be the fastest. It just needs to be untouchable. Allies around the world fly. Unlike the F-22, which the US kept for itself, the F-35 was designed as an international project. Today, 
More than a dozen nations fly the Lightning II, including the UK, Japan, Israel, Italy, and Australia. This makes the F-35 not just an American weapon, but a global alliance in the sky. When you see an F-35, you're not just looking at a fighter jet, you're looking at decades of military cooperation across continents. It's designed to fight wars we haven't even imagined yet. The F-35 isn't just about today, it's about the future. Its software can be upgraded like a smartphone. As new weapons and threats emerge, the F-35 can adapt. That means the jet flying today may not look anything like the jet flying 20 years from now, but it will still be lethal. It's not just a fighter jet, it's a platform for the next half century of warfare. Closing, the jet of tomorrow, today. The F-35 Lightning II isn't just a fighter, it's a symbol of modern warfare. It's stealthy, it's smart, it's adaptable. From its $400,000 AR helmet to its trillion-dollar price tag, from vertical landings to its ability to fight wars that haven't even been imagined yet, the F-35 is proof that the battlefield of the future is already here. And love it or hate it, one thing is clear. The F-35 Lightning II is here to stay.